Auto Obsessed here. We're at the 2023 SEMA show. I'm in the Grio's Garage booth here with Nick Grio, and we've got a whole bunch of products. Grio's always brings something new to SEMA. We've got over 10 products here. Yeah, yeah. Really we... excited to hear about them, and uh, yeah, give us your thoughts. Okay. Show, us, show us what's new and exciting. Well, first of all, always great to see you again, Troy. Uh, I've known each other for a while now. I think it's Absolutely. almost 10 years uh, since I first met you in Edmonton. Right. But uh, we love doing business with you and our product developers stay busy. That's what keeps them employed. Absolutely. Uh, and we're always trying to improve uh, product offerings and, and find new uses and uh, more value we can offer to the, the automotive enthusiasts. So um, from a chemical side, we, we do have a broad array and then we've got some hard goods to talk about as well. But one of the things that we're pretty excited about is our car wash pods. So. Pods, that's, that's that's a first. Uh, it, it's actually like really exciting because um, you know for all of our in-house development, um, you know we we buy bulk chemicals from a lot of uh, distributors because we don't make the chemicals themselves, right? Uh, but we mix and, and formulate. And uh, we had asked one of our distributors like, hey, we want to you know really start focusing on concentrates, and they said, hey, have you ever thought about putting a concentrate in a pod form? Like, well. That has a lot of utility in our space yeah, because, yeah. you know, for the professionals, they like concentrates. But right. for the end consumer, there is a lot of frustration and waste in a simple process Absolutely. like yeah. washing your car. Right. How much concentrate do I use? Is over concentrating it negative? In some sense, yes, because even a pH neutral product can diminish surface protection. And ultimately, you're just increasing the cost for every wash by oh, using absolutely. too much. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this is one of the most basic processes. It you is, do it yeah. every time. Yeah. So these car wash pods, one of them uh, will make up to four gallons of car wash concentrate in okay. a traditional hose and bucket method. And then you can use these in a foaming sprayer or foam cannon oh, wow. as well. Um, and simple, add it to your, your bucket or wash tool, add water. Uh, if you're in a foaming tool, 90 seconds for them to dissolve so you can get some other stuff ready. Okay, yeah, yeah. Or simply as you're adding water to your bucket, it dissolves, you're ready to wash. All right. So, uh, and no waste. And then obviously there is uh, some environmental impact, no plastic waste. Right. Um, yeah. You know, don't eat them. They smell good. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you that. But yeah, hopefully there's no that. Uh Car wash pod challenge. No, no, do not do it, kids of TikTok, please. Uh, we already, that's my preface. We're not sending you any money. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's right. a good, that, that's a great idea. I mean, yeah. one, you know, there isn't, like like in our studio, 100%, we measure absolutely everything. But most people don't, right? Most yeah. enthusiasts don't, most professionals don't. Um, lot, lots of lots of benefits. Without a doubt. I mean, storage is a lot easier. No measuring at all. You drop it in. You do what you need to do, right? No spillage. Yeah. Right. Lot, lots of yeah. I, I never even thought of that. That is that is definitely our industry first. It's it's on the leading yeah. edge for sure. And I think there's more utility to come from that. But it's the first one to do it. And we're we're through the knot hole. And so I think the consumers will be excited about that. All right. So next we have our ceramic rinseless wash now. Rinseless washing in Edmonton, Alberta, probably pretty popular. Um, and for us, we have had a protection-free uh, rinseless wash that we are actually reformulating actively. Uh, we had a Carnuba-infused one, and then really we had our customers demanding one that would serve their ceramic base coats. Okay. Right, okay. So that could add some protection as part of their washing right, process. Right. As you know, even the most careful wash, you're diminishing your protection, you know, incrementally every time. Right. So with the utility of rinseless and the addition of the ceramic, you know, protection, this is a pretty innovative wash. Not very much on offer in this category. No, and quite frankly, no. the competitive set is, is disappointing. So we know our ceramic washing coat is legit. It adds protection. This is one you can do with reduced water in any washing environment, one ounce per gallon uh, for your uh, dilution ratio uh, and absolutely uh, uh, immediate reaction that you're seeing with that damp towel on the paint right. to let you know something's happening yeah. you're adding some protection yeah. back you to feel, it you feel the ceramic immediately yeah you'll right. see it I mean it it's yeah. magical right. it's a wonderful experience yeah. so yeah big consumer demand for this in fact we launched all of the products on our social media channels the two products they were most excited about with the two we just talked about. Pods. So okay, yeah, uh, yeah. very, very excited to launch this one. Well, this one here, so I, it took me a second because that was last year. Yep. But this is now no longer not an all-in-one. Yes. 
So we had a long-standing product, Liquid Gloss Poly Wax, which is our most durable polymer sealants. Uh, we have now incorporated essentially uh, SiO2 and the silane resins that we've uh, introduced to a lot of our other ceramic family into that polymer uh, or into that basic sealant concept. Right, yeah. So this is a true abrasive-free finish. It is going to be our most durable ceramic product that we have on offer, which is substantial relative to how durable some of our other ones are. Right, right. So if you have no need for correction, if you prefer hand application, your paint is in great condition, this is your base coat without it out. Right, right. Um, so the key with this, so for people that are used to doing, um, you know, your, your wax, best of show wax. Yes. So people that are used to doing the best of show wax, and they kind of want to enter the ceramic world a little bit, but they don't want to get into the complexity and the difficult side of applying a ceramic coating, this would apply like a sealant. Yes. So yeah. this would apply with a sealant, but it has ceramic in it. Yes. Right, so really, really easy to use. Excellent. H hand or orbital application okay. goes on very easily, comes off very easily as well. Excellent. Um, and then you can layer on top of that with anything else you prefer or sustain it with our ceramic, ceramic products such yeah. as ceramic shine and yeah. um, uh, ceramic wash and coat. Or exactly. Rinseless washer. Or the rinseless, or the ceramic rinseless yeah. Exactly. Um, so another uh, product in our ceramic family, our ceramic trim restorer. This is a product I've fallen in love with, primarily because mm -hmm. I've got old cars with uh, a ton of fading. And, um, you know, this is, again, ceramic infused. It's going to go on clear. Um, it's really workable and self-leveling, but also you don't necessarily have to tape and preserve it like you would, uh, or like, I'd say protect adjacent panels like you okay, would with a okay, high solid okay, trim restorer. Right. Um, and it, you know, you can wipe it off actively. But what I love is that exterior textured plastics and rubber trim, it works excellently on. Right. Nice satin finish, not high gloss. Right. Um, very much durable and water uh, repellent, hydrophobic. And then I love that it can be used on interior panels as well. We restored my grandfather's uh, 89 Volkswagen Westie. Okay. Had a 35 year old dash, right. or I don't know how many years, 34. Nice, grayed out, true black, factory finish uh, on that. And then, so, so the interior utility is important, and then tires as well. Right, I see that here. So, yeah. uh, really excellent, versatile product, easy to use, and is not going to be silicone based where it's you know weeks of protection. This is months right, right. Of, uh, of really high finish, nice OEM appearance as well. Okay, so this is all all exterior trims, all your plastics, maybe mud flaps, uh, wheel guards, interior plastic trim, yes. dashboards, plastic, uh, tires, so kind of an all-encompassing yeah. and giving you a satin look. Yeah, and it's not dyed, so it is not something you're actually trying to, you know, like it's black and messy and you're going to have to do a lot of cleanup. Right. Yeah. It's really workable. And, uh, and just, just one question, Nick, and we'll get, we'll get a shot of it after, but is, is this uh, Volkswagen have it on there? Actually, most of this Volkswagen is brand new OEM trim. So it okay. has not been applied. But this the is rubber. A, this is a customer car. Okay. So okay. We, we didn't do it because uh, he didn't request it. So, okay. We, okay. you know, we kind of kept a little distance. However, tires, um, we, tires are done with ceramic trim restore. Okay. Yes. Okay. So very nice satin finish. We'll get a shot of that yeah. uh, to show everybody. Perfect. But it's, it's pretty clean. You know, not blingy yeah. and definitely gonna gonna last quite a bit of time. Absolutely, perfect. Yep. All right, so we'll keep going because we're, yeah, we're gonna yeah. fire some off. This one here is interesting to me. Yeah. Because there isn't a lot of plastic restore type products on the market for clear uh, convertible tops, yeah. winch visors, motorcycle visors, motorcycle windshields, right? There's not a lot in the competitive set. I mean, if you look at just what we're trying to do as a company, we're trying to fill holes. And plastic is, is very common. I mean, you have frustrations relative to gauge clusters, right. older, you know, clear lenses. Uh, one of the great benefits of this is before you have to do like a substantial sanding step for headlight restoration, you can stave off some of that fogging, that yellowing okay. and oxidation okay. with this product as well. Perfect. So primarily intended for clear plastics and resins. So if you have some older, um, you know, carbon fiber trim that's yellowing, you can okay. clear that up or, you know, remedy swirl marks on it. And then as you mentioned, uh, windscreens on um, motorcycles and then visors. I actually restored an old bar sign on uh, that's about okay. from, from the 70s to perfect clarity. 
Um, and then I did do soft convertible windows on my, my uh, modern Bronco with right. it as well. So Perfect. Um, biggest caveat with plastic is age has a strong determination of the, um, the uh, strength and how the plastic was made. So always test, you know, inconspicuous yeah. areas. Right. This can be applied by hand or machine. Obviously, the machine's gonna turn up the aggression. Yeah. But the products that are on the market have very large abrasive particles that are meant for solely hand application. This is a submicron abrasive within this. And then the protection package is ceramic based as well. So okay. you're gonna get a nice, resilient, UV uh, resistant protection package as part of it. But okay. not you know, a broad product, right. but if you have a problem with your plastic, right. this is a product for this you. This is a go-to, yeah. So essentially three products in one though, right? Cleaner, light abrasive, and then protectant. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. and for uh, like exterior surfaces that are soiled, I'd still recommend washing, but right. yes, you're gonna get some, well, some the, nice- uh, To clean the oxidization off, yes, right? Yes, yes, yeah, without yeah, a doubt. Yeah, absolutely. That's great, That that's, that's exciting. Yeah, we have some impressive results in, in our testing. I mean, again, uh, Coors bar sign that had all this tobacco tar on it and was scratched to hell is perfectly clear. Now I just have to argue with my wife of where I can put it in my house. So <laughs> probably the garage. Probably the garage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, next up, our foaming glass cleaners. So we've had our window cleaners, one of our original yeah, products, yeah, yeah. and it's very mild. Um, and what I think it lacks relative to why we introduced this product is some of that cut. Right, if you've got off-gassing material or on, you know, modern uh, vinyls and interiors, yeah. uh, you need something that's a little heavier duty. But you also have to balance that with the sensitive trim that it's coming from. Right. Yeah. That's where the foaming comes in. So uh, you can apply this to windows and get a nice clean uh, with a cleaner that will cut and remedy those off-gassing uh, a little bit easier. Right. So. Uh, a, Excellent smell. There's not a lot more to say about this outside of uh, definitely an effective glass cleaner that with proper technique, you're gonna get street free glass and have an easier time cleaning up some of those more substantial, um, you know, off-gassing that you see on interior right. surfaces. Okay. Perfect. But good glass cleaner, you can have the best glass cleaner in the world and have bad technique and, and oh, get bad oh, results. 100%. So um, 100%. the yeah. foam definitely makes it have a little bit more working time. Yeah and can protect, you know, sensitive leather yeah. dashes. Cling onto the glass and not on the trim, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is this is new. I mean, I know you guys always had air fresheners, right? Yeah. Some form of, of an air freshener. Uh, and Stinky Be Gone, you guys have been using that name for a while. So what, I see the hanging yep. air freshener. So Stinky Be Gone is one of Griot's Garage's earliest trademarks. Uh, my dad pretty much coined it, talking about my mom's Suburban that I grew up riding around in with right. my three siblings. Um, we have some, uh, we, so we did a full line, and this is a trigger applied spray um, okay, yeah. that is paired with uh, these rechargeable wafers, three of them per, uh, per item, and some of our legacy scents. So uh, we won't specifically mention where these scents come from product-wise, right. but if you've used Grios Garage products, enjoy the fragrances, you're gonna find them in this line. So we have a cherry fragrance, a leather fragrance, which is the same as our, our legacy fine leather yeah. interior yeah. Um, scent. Light them up, which is kind of a, a common masculine scent that is in you know the little trees. We okay. refined it. Okay. We refined okay. it, made yeah. it a little less juvenile. Right. Um, JDM squash, which was in our uh, snow foam last year, one of the best, most popular scents. Right. You know, yeah. for my generation of enthusiasts. Yeah. And then monkey fuel. I'm gonna leave you hanging on that one, but it's excellent. <laughs> okay. uh, very tropical and fresh. Right. One of the unique features, obviously, you can spray this directly onto a source of odor. Um, or recharge the wafers, put them in multiple areas or multiple cars. But it is infused with zinc technology that will neutralize the odor as well. Okay, so, okay. so it's um, not just a cover up. It's not just yeah. a mask. Right. Uh, now, obviously, cleaning can go a long way in terms of pulling the soiling out of us right. uh, interior material. But uh, in terms of getting rid of that permanently, you need something more. And that's what we have uh, included with all of these excellent scents. Okay. So a so few, few options available. Yep. You can spray it on the floor mats, on the carpets, and then for those that want maybe a mirror hanger or slide it into a, a pocket, yep. right? You can you can recharge it as needed. That's a that's a great idea. Five yeah. different scents right now. I mean, you know our products. Fragrance yeah. is really important. My dad's the ultimate sniff test, and uh, <laughs> so we've we've kind of 
rewarded our consumers with their favorite scents uh, and then some utility and a little bit more technology than just a masking scent. Right, right. That's awesome. Excellent. Okay. So we've seen this before. Yes. And I was, and I was telling you earlier, so when you took the other one off the market, I took everything off the shelf and we, yeah. we have our own private stash in the shop. So I really like the old one. So what's, what's changed here? Okay, so we've always sold a hand cleaner because our whole mantra is the garage space is where you work, right? Yeah. So detailing is important, but if you're getting your hands dirty, grease, oil, uh, brake dust, whatever it may be, you do need something more substantial than hand soap. Most industrial grade hand cleaners, if used consistently, will dry out your right. hands yeah. and crack them up. Uh, so we took our original formula, which had pumice stone in it, so it was abrasive enough to get rid of some of those heavier um, materials such as oil and grease. And then we've added a moisturizing element and changed the scent. So our traditional citrus is now a cherry scent. Okay. But we put this through the ringer with our restoration shop who built the GTI you were referencing. Yeah. Um, and they were who said, yes, you got it. This is what we want. We're getting rid of the industrial one that people are giving us for free. Yeah. have your, the lab make more and more of it. So uh, we have supplied them with multiple gallons of it. They are our um, you know, lab rats relative yeah, yeah, to how yeah. good this stuff is. We wouldn't bring out a hand cleaner unless it took where we left off and, and improved it. So this should be early 2024 as well. Right, excellent. Okay. Excited to try that one out. So for our hard goods, we're walking away. We'll, uh, <laughs> we do have an improved- uh, It is a live show. Pneumatic uh, foaming gun. <laughs> But this is probably what I'm most excited about. You know, we've really uh, done a lot of work on our foaming tools. Our foam cannons are excellent. Um, and so now we're attacking more of the pressure washer okay. accessories. Right, right. So um, we've developed a series of rubberized protected tips that are high flow. Uh, we have two orifice sizes to pair with the GPM rate of your pressure washer. So okay. two gallons uh, or more than two gallons I essentially see. per minute uh, and inter industry standard um, patterns from uh, 15, 25 and 40. Okay, yeah. So this will increase the, the flow rate of your pressure washer um, and add the protection of the rubberized right, in tip. in case you contact the car. All stainless steel construction and a really nice little really? have yeah, fun in your garage, to uh, you know, uh, brand, brand homage on there as well. Right. So we've designed those to pair with what is our shorty uh, pressure washer gun. So this is another one that we've developed with ergonomics in mind, spring rate in mind, all stainless steel manifold construction, um, really smooth on the hand it and is, double yeah. shot rubber yeah. everywhere. Yeah, protection here. Um, stainless steel fittings on the top and bottom and then a swivel fitting on the bottom as well. Right. So built okay. into it. Yeah. Uh, so you you're, don't have to work around your hose, your hose works with you. Right. So a couple of things I noticed. One, we're using standard, mm -hmm. standard uh, pressure washer fitting, so that's good. So it can go on other guns as well, right? Stainless steel, all quick connect. Yep. It's got a trigger lock. Yep. Right, so you can lock out the trigger so you don't accidentally hit it. This is just for the display model. Yes, that is to keep it <laughs> so in the, the, <laughs> the extra is just for yeah, the display that, that model. Yeah, that fitting is, uh, yeah, yeah. is uh, made in house. Yeah, all rubberized. Yep. Right, so you're insulated from the temperature. No, it's very nice, very nice. Yeah, and then we'll definitely uh, be including uh, an example of that manifold so you can see the construction. It's pretty impressive. Um, and that is something that, you know, to pair with our pressure washer sails and our foam cannons, we know how important foaming is, the ability to quickly change between rinsing and foaming uh, without a wand in the way. However, we will be introducing a wand, a wand? Okay, to complement this in 2024 as well. Perfect, no, that's very good. So very we're definitely nice. stepping up our game uh, with pressure washing and foaming uh, being so important to right. correct processes if you're able to to utilize those things. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Which I, I always prefer. It, it, <laughs> it's the way to go. It is, yeah. Okay, and then finally, um, we have our paint thickness gauge. So we introduced this uh, earlier in 2023. Right, yeah. Um, this is uh, basically can do ferrous and non-ferrous metals yeah. and is paired with a Bluetooth app that can map locations of the car. Right. Uh, so as somebody is getting into paint correction and they're unsure of how much material they're working with, a paint meter and gauge is oh, it's critical. incredibly yeah. important. Yeah. It's so yeah. one of the things we always coach people. I'm unsure if my car has been repainted or not. Well, look, you're gonna spend $20,000 on a car, 
that you're paying a premium because it's yeah. never been hit, you yeah. might want to check it out exactly. with a tool. Yeah. Uh, so if you're buying and selling or if you're doing correction processes, this is a pretty integral step to just make sure. Yeah. Uh, you can do a lot more damage than the price of one of these tools by skipping that step or being unsure of it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, for us, I mean, we, 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 uh, we put it into our lineup last year. Uh, I think it's a great stepping stone. And as Nick mentioned, you know, if you're doing any sort of correction, nobody's eyes can read microns. Like there, there's just no possible way, right? Ferrous, non-ferrous, so that's, you can do the aluminum body panels, any of the steel body panels. Yep. Uh, and then this for our, at least for our clientele in our catalog, it's a great entry point. So uh, because we do carry industry standard certified gauges, which start at a thousand dollars and go into many, many thousands, this is a great tool for the enthusiast. Without a doubt. I mean, you know, like I said, great for price its, point. its price point relative to the mistakes you can create Absolutely. by not being sure, yeah. I think this is something that everybody should have if they are getting serious about paying correction. Absolutely. Um, and, and for me, and I, and my father's son, I do have the problem of acquiring and selling cars. And uh, <laughs> this is something that if you buy a car and bring a trailer and you don't ask about paint measuring, uh, then you're, you're not certain if they're being honest or not. If you're physically inspecting a car, it's a great tool to have. And then again, as you're approaching something with original paint, my dad has a 1959 Invicta. I'm the only person that burned it. And it was when I was 16. <laughs> And now I actually have been able to leverage uh, a paint meter and gauge to create content for the historical car publications about how to approach that same car. Uh, it still has paint on it. Uh, yeah, yeah. In most spots outside of one tiny little spot <laughs> where the black paint turned brown, yeah. but you don't want to be that guy when you're this close to buying something that could avoid that entirely. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Or even actually, so on that note too, so paint thickness gauge, could be used when purchasing a car as well for leverage to see to see how well and also to see how much filler has been used on the car yep you know it's going to tell you immediately if there's any body filler on the car or or if an area is on a, on a late model cars it'll tell you instantly if the car's been refinished yeah that's the thing starts squeaking right? and turning red you yeah. know that guy's lying yeah right? exactly. It's, exactly it's a piece of art now it's not actual metal that's right uh, that's some right. sculpting has been done that's and, awesome so um and I we get, do, actually, mo sorry. most importantly, I want to be sure to, um, we introduced these last year. Just left the screen for you. But our micro polisher, right. you know, we introduced that as a dual power tool, right. and we have finally completed our hybrid inverter. Okay. So that is how you power the tool when you run out of battery power or if right. you want the option of cording it. S uses the same cord uses standard as cord, all yeah. of our other uh, cords. And part of what we had to work on was We've included a fan to keep the operating temperature okay. down, okay. Uh, which was one of the challenges we had. We were also able to make it more compact than when we originally launched uh, the design. Right. So we had issues bringing that to market. We are finally ready to bring that okay, to market. Okay, excellent, yeah. And then one of the additional elements is that 13 millimeter orbital throw that comes standard on this tool can right. now be complemented by a five millimeter throw for even more precision correction. Oh, excellent. So you can get real tight with this one. Okay, excellent. Yeah. So the big question, when can we see this stuff? So the vast majority of the chemicals are in production right now. Okay, Two perfect. of them, the trimmer store and plastic all in one are on the market right now. Okay, They're ready perfect. to be ordered. Everything else will be coming out uh, through the end of the calendar year with the majority of the products being done before 2024. The hard goods will be early 2024 Pink gauge is currently available, yeah. um, so and everything the, is... And the inverter? The inverter will be early 2024. Okay. Yeah, okay, so perfect. this is actually, we're, we're slated to uh, receive these in December. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. So a full set, a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But as I mentioned... But, but never... Never stopping. You, you guys never stop we're and never disappoint. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. So I want to thank, thank you, Nick, and thank you, Gria's Garage. Uh, for all of you waiting for dates and everything, just give us a like, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Facebook. We'll, as soon as the products are available, we'll have it on our store. Thank you for watching.